What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. Today we're going to be talking about where you can have a gun in your vehicle without a permit and then where you can have a gun in your vehicle with a permit. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about where you can have a gun in your vehicle without a permit and then where you can have a gun in your vehicle with a permit. Uh, this is an update to one of our previous videos due to the new open carry law uh, that has changed here in South Carolina. So again, you can conceal carry or open carry with a permit here in South Carolina. But that is only with a permit. We are not open carry like what some of these other states are, like North Carolina and a few others. So you have to have a permit to conceal carry or open carry. Now, without a permit in this state, whether you're traveling through, visiting, or you live here, you don't have a permit yet, you're not wanting to get a permit, you are allowed to keep your gun in the glove box or console or the luggage compartment in a container with the integral fastener. Okay, what they're talking about here with the integral fastener is it has to latch, snap, or zip shut. Okay, you can't just throw it in a Tupperware container, can't throw it in a shoe box or a cardboard box or anything like that. Okay, any type of gun case where it snaps or latches shut in some way, shape, or form, or your soft gun cases that you can buy for handguns that zip all the way shut, but it has to zip all the way shut. Uh, again, it's gotta be closed glove box, closed console. Doesn't have to lock, it just has to latch shut. So most of your glove boxes and your consoles, some people call them armrests, so console slash armrest, uh, they have to latch, meaning there's gotta be some type of button you push or a lever you pull to open it up. But now in the glove box or the console, they do not have to be in a container. The container is only for the luggage compartment. All right, the reason container with the integral fastener, these already have those fasteners on them. Now my recommendation, at least put it in, if you're gonna put it in the glove box or console, at least put it in a holster so you have something covering the trigger guard, uh, unless you're one of the people that have an empty glove box or console. Mine is slapped full of stuff. So I at least put it in a holster before I put it down in there because uh, sometimes when I wear, uh, where I wear it does ride right there with the seat belt so I do put it in the console. Uh, but it is in a holster that way if I slam on brakes or heaven forbid in a car accident, I've got something covering the trigger so anything can't get in there and cause it to go off. But again, you don't have to have it in the holster. That is just my recommendation. Again, the container is for the luggage compartment okay and these are without a permit these top three are only where you can have it without a permit once you get your permit you get all of this okay you're getting everything with this so under the driver's seat in a container with the integral fastener same kind of fastener that i talked about up here of course on your person or now with the new open carry law openly in your vehicle okay the way the law reads right here is on or about your person, okay, is the way the law reads. I've talked to some law enforcement that I know, and I've talked to a few self-defense attorneys that I know. The way they're interpreting that is it's got to be within the reach of the permit holder. So what I mean is, is if you're the permit holder and you're driving the vehicle and the gun is in the cubby hole of the pasture door and the pasture doesn't have a permit, that does not count. It's got to be within the reach of the permit holder. So now if you want to stick it in your cup holder, okay, you can do that now. Or if you've got a little uh, cubby hole or something like that that you would like to put it in, that's fine. But that's once you get your permit, all right? Without a permit, it's only these three. With a permit, it's all of these. So that this was the big change that was made is openly in your vehicle within reach of the permit holder. 
So it's got to be within your reach. Okay. This again is for South Carolina only. This is for South Carolina only. All right. Once you leave South Carolina, they do differ from state to state. Every state is different on where you can have it in your vehicle when you're transporting it. If you're going into a state where we have reciprocity, keep it on your person. You don't have to worry about this stuff. All right, but if you're gonna take it off of your person and put it in your vehicle, you're now transporting that handgun. You gotta follow that state's laws and it is your responsibility. If you're not sure where to find that information, go and look up for a, lo a local law enforcement office for the state, city, uh, or county that you'll be going to uh, wherever you're going and they will put you in contact with somebody to help you out with this. But I will have some websites and some phone applications listed down in the description of this video so you can be able to find some help. But it is your responsibility to know what happens when you leave South Carolina or when you leave whatever state you might be in. But again, what we're talking about today is for South Carolina only. All right, so again, just to repeat, these are without a permit. All of this is with a permit. If you do not have to permit, it's one of these three. That's all you get. Now, my recommendation without a permit, I would say glove box or console. Those are easily within your reach. Um, why do you want it in the luggage compartment in a container when you're using it to protect yourself? Uh, with, with a permit, my recommendation is glove box, console, on your person or if you want to openly carry it in the vehicle you do have that option something else i forgot to mention the cubby hole down in the driver's side door all right that is openly in your vehicle all right this with permit only i'm sorry with a permit only without a permit gotta remember that all right i wanted to get this update to the open carry stuff but just one glass one last look here this is what you get Without, with, without, with. I can't stress this enough. If we get outside of these, if you're carrying it here and you don't have a permit, that's an improper carry, you can be arrested. If you're carrying it here and you don't have a permit, it's improper carry and you can be arrested. So make sure you understand and know where you can. If you have questions, always feel free to reach out to us. We will be glad to help you with this. If you're coming from another state into South Carolina and still have questions after watching this video please again feel free to reach out to us we'll be glad to help you in any way shape or form so just real quick why i wanted to do this is making sure everybody understands where you can and where you can't all right i don't want to see anybody get in trouble because this isn't something where you can be like oh i didn't know that this is this we're talking about a gun it's not like a speed limit when you go oh i didn't realize that was a speed limit and you might get off or get a warning that might not happen with this Okay, so make sure you understand and know where you can and where you can't. And the last thing I want to do real quick is thank all of our sponsors, Core Essential. Uh, go to them to get you a good belt, SCGS10. Uh, no Other Choice is one of our affiliates. Go over there if you need any gear, flashlights, um, magazines, whatever you can think of, optics. All right, they've got the gear, SCGS5 for them. Also, Get Right Personal Training. Uh, Lau Welding and Grading, and of course, Sutter Law Firm. So thanks to all of our sponsors for helping us out with all this. Thanks to all of you for continuing to watch and support, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. And remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.